Hello teachers, in this video we will discuss how you can create online tests and share the same with your students using Examinate Test Generator. For this, let's create one question paper in online test mode. Click start button, then select class and subject. Then here we will select online test objective link so that we can create question paper in online test mode that will be with objective type questions. Then let's take it express. Then we will select our PDF header and footer. Then enter a test paper name and time allowed. After that, if you want negative marking, you can select enable negative marking here and then select the percentage of negative marking. Usually it is 25%. If you are sharing this test with the batch of students who are sitting side by side, you can choose the option shuffle questions and options so that all the students will get same set of questions but in different order. And then click this checkbox and click next. In this screen, we will show you all the chapters, select the desired chapters and create the paper accordingly. Let's select first chapter and select all topics. Then select some questions from this uh, chapter. Then go to the next chapter, click all topics and select few questions from this also. You can select any number of chapters altogether in one paper, but total number of questions in one question paper cannot exceed 75 questions. And at the end of this page, you will get the option to short by and section by. Usually in CBSE, we keep it short by question type and section by marks. But in case of online test, if you want all MCQs altogether, and all ARQ and true false and other type of questions in the other section, you should short it by marks and section by question type. So that each question type will be a different section. Now click save and continue. On this screen, wait for a while and click refresh. Now it is the third screen where we show you all the questions. And if you want to make any change in any question, you just click on actions, then click replace question. You will get multiple options to replace your question like this, this way. And then you select the desired question that you find that it is suitable for you. Click replace and the question will be replaced. The same way if you want to make changes to a question text, click actions, click edit question. You will be able to make changes in the content provided in this question text and then click save. And here you will get the option to change the test paper name, time allowed, header. And if you want to add internal choice within the section, you can enable here. Internal choice within the section means if section A is having 10 questions and you would like to ask your students to answer any eight out of these 10 questions. So in that case, you can select this internal choice, click enable and section A is having six questions. Let's make five questions compulsory. Now we will assess only first five questions attempted by the students out of these six questions. And if you want the same setting in other section, you can mark it. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. Then we will also change these marks accordingly. For example, if all the questions are one marker, now the total marks will be 13 in place of 14. So let's make it 13. Now click save. And if you want to make any change to your short by or section by, you have another chance to do it by clicking this edit button. Now click continue and enter the date and time for this test. Let's make it quit, quit start date from 13th, 12, 1 p.m. Click outside to 14, 1 p.m. It means students can come online between 13th June 1 p.m. to 14th June 1 p.m. and attempt the test for any 30 minutes. Once the test is started, it will get over within 30 minutes. So uh, there is a flexibility of time, but there is no flexibility of duration. As soon as the test is started, it will be completed within the given duration. And the last option is result at when you want to show the result to your students. If you don't want to show this result to your students, you can click I will decide later. 
otherwise if you want to show the result immediately after the test you can click when students submit the quiz otherwise you can put a date here like this then click create quiz click ok the quiz is created now you can share this quiz with your students by clicking on actions share and if you have created batches click within batch select the batch like this you can select multiple batches and click save changes now this test is assigned to your students into the batches they will log in in their mobile app or web link that you will share and they will be able to attempt the test within the given time frame and if you don't have any batches you can share the direct link by clicking without batch copy this link and share this with your students now next thing is if you are sharing this quiz within the batch where the student will attempt it see there are two options one is if you scroll this page down you will get one share link just in your institute block click share link and this is your web page link just click copy and this is the permanent link for all the test all the quiz all the batches that you create here so you can share this common link with all your students irrespective of class subject batch or the test and if you want your students to attempt this test on android application this android app link is also given you can share this link with your students students will open the link and they will be able to attempt the test within this android application and only those students who have joined your batch will be able to access this test no other student will get access to any test that you are sharing within the batch we have another video in description to discuss how you can add your students into the batches let's see how your students will attempt this test let's go to share copy this link and check it this is the page your students will get while opening the link for the first time once they are logged in they will be able to access it directly so click continue if they are logged in with phone number they can enter their phone number or login if they have used uh, google or facebook account they can use this also and if you have created customized email id and password for them they should click on sign in with email they will enter the email id and password and login after login this page will appear that will show your name and your logo on the top then student will click on this assign test so it is showing the take test button student will click on this take test button and then click start test click start and this way the test interface will appear as we have given internal choice of five questions out of six it is showing this message over the screen now student will attempt the test like this this way five questions are complete so we are showing this message let's go to next section section b this way and then go to section c student can also see which question they have left and then click submit click submit and the test is submitted and we have shown that the result will be available immediately after the quiz submission so if we click back and we can see the result by clicking view result yeah this way we are showing correct incorrect and not attempted and this is the overall score and if the student want to see the result in detail click view solution it will show the question number one this was incorrect this was the correct option this is the explanation go to the next the same way all the questions student can review with the explanation this way it shows that the red are incorrect and green are correct options and the gray out are not attempted and the same thing you can access in your dashboard by clicking actions then result you will get this option like this this is this in tabular format also and by batch also you will get the same option like this and you can also print this result by clicking print result click print and this will be printed as pdf 
if you want it in excel sheet you can just copy and paste it in excel sheet also so this way you can create online test using examinate test generator you can share the same with your students and they will get the result immediately after the test is submitted i hope this video will really help you while creating question papers online on examinate test generator thank you